Ricardo Bam Bam Roman, then the seventh opponent for Hot Prospect, Hopi Price, top left of your screen, just having the final words with his coach and mentor, Dave Colwell. And he has made remarkable progress in the last two years. Darren, I think you saw him on it was either his debut or his second fight out in Saudi Arabia on the, was it the Joshua Ruiz rematch undercard. And well, he's boxed on some big stages so far, and nothing appears to phase him. Bam Bam Duran from North Central Mexico. It's like a more jerky style than the very fluid wide base of Hopi Price. And it was likely to be a visual contrast in the way they set up early, and there is already. But he will try and put the pressure on, and he will make Hopi Price pay for any mistakes. But Price is sharp and fast, and that counter left hand already landing early. So smart with the feet, Hopi Price. He really is. He takes a half a step out and, and counters with that lovely sharp left hand. Oh, oh the left hand lands. And it's the same shot that put Claudio Grande over in the sixth round of fight camp. And Bam Bam Duran did not even see it coming. Beautiful shot straight down the middle. It already landed one just previous to that, but that was a well timed, well selected shot. Well, he put Hussein Osman down with a. A left hand to the body and a, a short chopping right hook upstairs that was so quick in real time we, we nearly didn't see it. I tell you, blink and you'll have missed that one too. Ricardo remanded, but he's up. And that would have shocked him down because I think he hit the deck before he even knew the punch had landed. It really, really was smart. He's an aggressive counter puncher, Hopi Price. And you're just starting to slowly see that maturity from him. And again, what a fantastic left hand. Times it so well. Just got caught with a little cuffing right hand there. Roman just on the switch, and he, he can switch quite well. He's looking a little undersized here. Price very tall and rangy at the weight. He's still a very young man as well. No doubt he will fill out and go up the weight divisions as the years progress, but he's, he's developed and, and matured in physicality. And as I mentioned, as he was entering the ring, much more spiteful puncher in these last couple of fights. Yeah, a lot more belief in his power and his uh, his strength. You see him there just throwing for a man to the floor. So young and fresh face, but really starting to to show some real signs of aggression. The shot selection spot on. Times them so well, head, body, always thinking, like I say, the feet are so quick. And when he takes a step back, he always looks for the left-hand counter. Very smart boxing. There you see it there. I just noticed the referee there, at the same time spotted the, the feet was coming together. Price is treading on the lead foot of Bam Bam Roman. Not, not intentionally, he's got a very wide base stance, and of course you've got Southpaw against Orthodox in there, but the referee did spot that, so don't be surprised if that's a repeat infringement, that he does mention that to Hopi Price, who is just trying to get his foot on the outside of Ricardo Romans, but of course if he can just tread on that lead foot and pin him into position, he has got the range advantage with that left hand. And we saw the damage that it could do early as the seconds tick down towards the end of round number one. Oh, this is in a right hand under the elbow. Spiteful puncher as well. Very, very good round from the home fighter. Yeah, it really was. Lovely, positive, aggressive start from Hopi Price. Straight to the centre of the ring, pushing Roman back. And it was the first little step out of range when he threw the left hand. And then the one that dropped him, what a beautiful shot that was. I mean, it was a flash knockdown, but it was well timed supreme accuracy with that shot right at the point of the the jaw of the man picked it it was a beautiful shot well timed you see the concentration on hope price there wait to draw out the lead from roman sees it there there's the shot i mean that that's the art of boxing to, to hit and not be here perfect range finder with that lead right hand as well wasn't it just pins him on the forehead put it down the middle as roman was trying to just step across him Smart, smart fighter, and uh, so Roman has been down uh, on a couple of occasions early in contests. He always worked his way back into the fight, though. He didn't be necessarily deterred by that. He certainly wasn't hurt badly by it. Price again, just uh, treading on the front foot. The referee has warned him of that, as I mentioned in the first round. I'm just seeing, you know, that the, it's, it's almost. Uh, I think he's trying to mix it up slightly, Hopi Price. You see, if you watch the feet slightly, he's quite content to work from the inside and the outside. And I think when he shifts 
to the outside. He sort of treads on the feet. I don't think he's intentionally trying to do that. Sharp on the trigger with that lead. Right hand under the elbow again. Oh, that left hand really does throw it with a real spite. Mixing it up to the body there. Really nice looping bolo to the midsection of Roman. I really like the way he sets it up with that lead, that long lead out in front. Just gets him right in the perfect position and shoots the left. Yeah, just in charge of the distance all the time, and he does that with the left hand. Yeah, uh, sorry, the right hand, and once he gets him to full shoot, that left hand really, really is spiteful. Mixes it up that time, just goes downstairs to the body. That's what he did against the St. Osman, went low and then came up high and he's putting the shots together well against Roman here. Roman done the right thing there, he put his head really low, made it very difficult for Hopi Price to follow up the attack. But he's feeling the pace, he's feeling the power, Roman under real pressure. Still a minute 30 to go in the second round as Hopi Price sends a, a mini breakthrough there, just starting to let the hands go and again Roman just smothering and closing that space down. I'd like to see Hopi maybe turn that left into an uppercut when he's putting the head down like that. I think that could land perfectly on the chin. Yeah, the elbows are quite wide from him around at times, aren't they? Just some, some gaps appearing down the middle. And there was some blood from the nose of the Mexican. So we know that that's starting to get through. And Hopi Price is firing down the middle. And this is where Roman will want to try and get up close and make it rough. But I spoke to Dave Cobble about this and talked to me about the progression that Price showed in the spars with kid Galahad who himself is a brilliant switch hitter and as many people on the circuit will know far more physical and flat-footed in sparring than he is in in fight mode and he tends to be a, a bit of a bully in sparring and he said those first couple of encounters that Price had with him as uh, a real youngster he was pushed around and, and manhandled he said but as the months progressed every time he got in he looked physically more and more his equal and he's happy to mix it up close and we're seeing that now he's not only a slick sharp shooter He's deceptively strong and he's happy to get down and physical if an opponent obliges and he's snapping that right hip into the body and he's busted up the face of the Mexican yeah, as well. Some real damage to the nose of Roman. I wouldn't be surprised if that nose is broken, an awful lot of blood flowing from it now and Hopi Price getting back to work. Shots coming from all angles. We've seen a bit more variation to the body from Hopi Price in that second round. Really, really good boxing. Well, that's where we are. The historic Alexandra Palace has been used for the boxing venue for a number of years. I was here for amateur boxing in 2015 and 16. Darren, you, of course, boxed in twice as a professional and had uh, two successful nights in. Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, I'll give you that £20 later. Yeah, well, sure. yeah great venue. Stone throw away from, from where I live. Uh, always great to come back here. You, you touched on it before, the acoustics, the noise in here really does radiate across the venue. Fantastic place. And let's hope that we set a bit of trend here and we see some more boxing at Alipay. It really is a remarkable venue. It will be packed out 7,000 in here later on live on the zone from North London. There's two of the top transatlantic contenders at 168 pounds do battle Daniel Jacobs from Brownsville in New York and John Ryder from right here in London who can take another step towards a world title shot at super middleweight plenty of action before then to come big Johnny Fisher and Scottney Austin Ammo Williams as well and Felix Cash return of the former British middleweight champion here in London, but Hopi Price putting a punctuation on our pre-broadcast segment with an excellent start to this contest against Ricardo Roman. And uh, well, all signs point to something devastating, landing cleanly in these next two or three rounds that could close the show. And he landed a spiteful left hand that time, Darren. Yeah, and the left hand's doing damage, Chris. Every time he lands, you see the legs look slightly unsteady of Roman. Even there, credit to him, he's brave. He doesn't, he, he's worried about letting his hands go at the fear of getting countered with that left hand. Hopi Price is just in complete control now. It's, it's, it's interesting. Hopi Price is naturally a counter puncher, so he always tries to wait for his opponent to lead before he puts his shots together. But Roman's almost worried about letting his hands go, so it's down to. 
and over to Hopi Price now to kind of, you know, lead and let his hands go in in twos and threes and go again. I think the feint, if you're trying to draw the lead out, is a, is a good move, but impressive stuff so far from Hopi Price. To be fair, he looks quite comfortable moving forward. Um, he he looks like he belongs there, being an aggressive fighter. I think Darren, you, you and I both felt the same when we when we saw him. It, he's reminiscent, both both looks and style wise, of a, a young Luke Campbell. But, uh, well, for all of you, Luke Campbell's accolades at London 2012 Olympic gold medal, the professional world title evaded him just because really the, the division of killers that he unfortunately found himself in with but what a career he had and well, I hope he price looks to have one ahead of him as well fizzing left hand again just comes in on the counter and Ricardo Roman is really really wary now of any kind of bait that may be lying in wait for him because as much as Hopi price just drifts that left hand out tries to bait him into something I think he knows what's coming if he overcommits. but the angle there as well you see he sort of skips in with one two and before you know it, he's right around the side of Roman, he didn't opt to throw a shot, but still the movement is impeccable from Hopi Price. I mean, there's everything in the locker for Hopi Price. It really is the way he puts them together. The speed there, that left hand again, straight down the middle. And he wilted into the ropes there. The referee had a look at him, but he's bounced back up. And oh, it's a, a savage sounding right hook round the side from Hopi Price, just above our commentary position here. That straight left down the middle just lands right on the button every time. Brutal. Yeah, he really can't miss with it, can he? Well, he did that time. <laughs> Commentator, because, I mean, look, it's just the speed and accuracy. Well, the guard pulled down there as yeah. well, just to give himself the space. These are, these are little tricks that the viewer at times wouldn't really notice. He's really intelligent boxing, you know, for a guy in his seventh fight. I know he's got a very good amateur pedigree, but they're, they're old school sort of tricks. But I have to say as well, it's hard for us to spot in real time. He does everything yeah. so fast. You've, you've got to be absolutely locked onto him at all times to, to see some of what's happening in real time. But he's in full control here. Will he fancy that he can get his man out of there in these last three rounds? He wouldn't bet against it, given the pattern of play so far. Ricardo Roman, if you just joined us in the black trunks, with uh, gold lettering, Hovey Price at Southport in the white trunks, trimmed with blue, in full control and looking spiteful. Every time Roman throws a shot, he's just far too quick for him, Hopi Price. You see there, lands a lovely two-punch combination, two hooks, starting with the left. Oh, lovely left to the body. And just landing those punches at full extension as well, and that's really hurt the Mexican. He follows it up with a second. And there is a long time left in this round for Ricardo Roman to survive it. I thought the referee might have uh, had a word with Hopi Price there. A couple of shots landed as Roman was down, but it's just that eagerness to, to get the finish from Hopi Price. You see him, he's a good finisher and he's let the shots go straight down the middle. Roman in the corner here in big trouble. Referee has seen enough and well, he protests, but I think really being saved from himself there and saved from at least three more torrid rounds. And if he wasn't completely ready to go, he wasn't far off it, Darren. And Hovey Price, in yet again clinical fashion, gets rid of his last three comfortably inside the distance. And well, look ahead to challenges. Dave Cole were talking about something bigger on the horizon for him. The English title, 122 pounds held by Leeds fighter Jack Bateson, who was on the same card as Price in September. He beat the excellent Ramed Mahmood in November to win that title. Could those two be on the cards? Bates are much, much more experienced, but you wouldn't say that there's a lot between them, would you? No, not at all. I mean, it, I'm loving the maturity, the aggression, and the bit more spite from Hope Price in his last few fights. Really, really put them together well. A very good finisher. I mean, that was a lovely left to the body. And you can see that a couple of shots winning at the end there. It's just because he's so eager to impress and get the stoppage. And sometimes it's... 
it's nice to see a fighter really bite down on the gum shield and let the shots go. But proving there that it's it's all coming together nicely for Hobie Price. Yeah, it certainly is. And well, he boxed him into the corner there. And well, I think there's only really one way traffic from that point onwards. So Roman, brave as he was, and protesters, he did. He was only really being saved there from himself. So Another win in the books for young Hofi Price. Let's hand you over now to our MC, Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes to the official time. One minute, nine seconds. Round number four, referee Mark Bates stops this bout. We have your winner here, still undefeated, Hofi Price! A well, fabulous performance for... Hopey Price, and well, we'll wait to see what is in store for him. Maybe at the end of March, maybe early April, Dave Caldwell said a definite step up in levels, and well, he's absolutely ready for it. So, 